Um, so temporary relief for the distress. So one of the things that a lot of people are worried about is if they don't pay their current creditors, so the current bills, uh, maybe it could be your lease with your landlord if you're in a commercial property. Maybe you've got equipment leases on the equipment that you use within your business. It could be vehicle leases. And maybe you've just got a, a, a business loan or maybe you've just got bills, right, from suppliers, etc. cetera. Um, so this change in the stimulus package has been brought in to help you uh, and stop the uh, possibility of getting, uh, you know, um, I suppose, getting action taken against you. So, Brian, do you want to give us a bit of a rundown on this? Yeah, so the government's amended the Corporations Act so that for the next six months, uh, the director's duty to prevent insolvent trading in a company has been suspended. So what that means is that as a business owner, you can incur debts in order to get yourself through this period of time and essentially be trading insolvent but not be personally liable for those debts later on. Uh, and the other part on this that the government's done, they've increased the threshold for a statutory demand from $2,000 to $20,000. So that means that if you owe one of your creditors money, the amount that they can chase you for through the courts to get your business wound up has to be $20,000 or above now. Now that's been changed for the next six months. Now, and along with that, They've also changed the time frame that you have in order to respond to a creditor's statutory demand. So ordinarily, if a creditor sent your statutory demand, you'd have 21 days to respond. Otherwise, the court would essentially appoint a liquidator to wind your business up. Now you've got a period of six months in order to respond. So you've got essentially some breathing space to get the business affairs in order. Hopefully this situation will resolve itself within six months so we can go back to profitable trading and then start paying our debts down. Now it's really important to note with this that this isn't a green light to go crazy and just rack up all sorts of debts in the company and then wind it up and feel that you're not going to have any creditors personally chasing you as a director. Uh, there are other provisions in the Corporations Act that where if you're uh, being reckless or you're recklessly incurring debts in the business that the business has no hope of paying back, they can still come after you as a director. All this is is that in the ordinary course of the business, we're incurring the ordinary expenses we need to incur the business to survive. And if that's what we're doing and the business goes under later on, we'll be safe as directors from getting pursued personally by our creditors. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, um, for those of you that may not understand the languaging in there or the jargon, a statutory, statutory demand is something like a, it's what's called a, something like a statement of liquidated claim, for example. So it's where they've actually gone to the courts and filed a claim against you. Okay. So it's not a demand letter um, that they have sent out from their own accounts department. It's actually something that's been filed with the courts. Yeah, that's right. And usually there's a process behind that and, mm. It'll probably take them a couple of months to get to that point anyway. Yeah, so you but but what it means is though if you are worried because one of the things I know for some people, Brian, is you know they, they go home of a night and they can't sleep because they're worried about who's going to be chasing them tomorrow. Well, the reality is right now you've sort of got uh, some insulation from that. Doesn't mean you're going to be immune to it, but it means that it's going to be six months before anything can happen. So it just gives you time to get back on top of things. And I guess the government's done that because some people in these you know when we get into these scenarios of things like this crisis can be quite erratic in their behaviour. And we've seen that in the supermarkets, you know, um, we may see it in the, you know, in the business world as well. So this is just protecting you as a business owner, for, as a director. Uh, it also means that during this period of time, you can't be considered um, reckless as a director as trading insolvent as easily, you know, but like Brian said, it's not a green light to go crazy because uh, you still will be held liable as a director somewhere down the track. That's for sure. Yeah. Just keep in mind that, People that you owe money to will still chase you and you'll get phone calls and emails and whatever else from them. This is when the, the package from the court turns up with the Supreme Court stamp on the front of it. Uh, you don't need to hit the panic button at that point because you've got plenty of time to yeah. deal with I would suggest, and um, I'm sure Brian would, would, would agree with this, is the best course of action if you owe somebody money and you're struggling to pay it is to have a conversation with them. As hard as it is, everyone is understanding of what's going on right now. Like that you're not alone. And um, 
you know, I think if you had a conversation and said, here's where we're at, here's how we're traveling, here's our plan, I think people would be more comfortable knowing that. And if you do that, I think you'll find that uh, it would be very unlikely anybody would take any sort of legal action against you. Yeah, 100%. Everyone's in the same boat at the moment. Yeah. So having open, honest conversations, then we should be able to work through it together. Yeah.